Hey, this is Michael Rosso of the Film Photography Podcast, here today to talk to you about the FPP Debonair 120 Plastic Filmtastic Camera. Now, this is not a Holga. You may know the Holga. This is not a Diana. This is not a Diana. It is the FPP, FPP Debonair. Debonair. Today, we're going to be talking about how to use this camera, how to load it, how to shoot with it, and how to use 35 millimeter to achieve sprocket hole photography with the Debonair. Much like other plastic cameras, if you've used one or if you've never used one, this camera has a fixed 60 millimeter lens. And to focus, very simply, you would uh, set your lens on, as I call it, one bloke, three blokes, mountains, which is infinity. The shutter is right here. And you have two shutter speeds with the uh, Debonair. You have cloudy or flash, which is approximately 1 60th of a second. Or if you turn this, if you switch this, sun, it is 1 100th of a second. So that's two actual shutter speeds with the camera. It's a parallax camera, which means when you look through the eyepiece, you're not actually looking through the lens. So when you pick up a Debonair, it will come with a lens cap, and my recommendation is that you just toss that cap out because I can't tell you how many emails I've gotten from folks that, Oh, my God, my, my, my roll of film was blank when I got it back from the lab. Any flash that has a hot shoe bottom will fit on your debonair. Like most uh, 120 film cameras, there's a window in the back, a red window, where you can see the numbers of your exposure when you're rolling your film through it. This is a 120 medium format camera that takes roll film. We're going to show you how to load the FPP Debonair. On the back, on the bottom of the camera is a lever. Push that to open. And now the whole back of the camera will come off the Debonair. And quite simply, you take your roll of film, put the roll of film into the camera, making sure the holes line up properly. Then you take your end of your film and drag it over. Put it in your take-up spool right here in a little slot. You want to make sure your backing paper is underneath the lip where the lid will go, like, like so. I usually advance it until you see the arrow. Oh, there's the arrow. Let's close up the back. Make sure it's all snug. Ah, there it is. Perfectly fit. You turn this to lock, and now you've loaded your FPP Debonair, and you're ready to shoot. You will advance your film until the number one appears in your little red window. Oh, there it is, number one. Once you're at your first frame, that means you're ready to shoot. If you're uh, indoors using a flash, make sure you have the proper setting on your shutter. Make sure you focus. Make sure you got rid of your cap. And then you just look at your subject, you, you frame it up, and then you, then you shoot. Then you would go ahead to number two. Now, when you're done shooting, I'm going to zip right ahead all the way past 16. This camera will shoot 16 frames of film on one roll of 120 film. Open up your camera. Now your film is on the take-up side. This roll of film is ready to be sent. You seal it up. You can send us to your favorite lab, like the dark room. You know, once you start shooting with your Debonair on a regular basis, you may have heard of, or you may want to try, what's known as sprocket hole photography. What that is, is shooting a smaller format, 35 millimeter, in your 120 film camera. You want to get a roll of 35 millimeter film into the back of the camera, which on the Debonair just happens to fit exactly perfect. See the size is perfect? You put a packing peanut in the, in the top of the camera. You put your 35 millimeter roll of film in the back of the camera. And then put one more packing peanut on the bottom of your spool so that the cartridge is snug in the camera. And then your 35 millimeter film comes across your camera. You get that all loaded up. Nicey nice. Sometimes you may have to put a little piece of tape on that so that it sticks. Once you have your 35 millimeter roll of film loaded securely in your camera, 
you will want to take a roll of electrical tape. It's a must-have, as a matter of fact. Uh, otherwise, you will get leaks. Because you're shooting 35 millimeter and there's no backing paper, you want to cover that red hole that normally you would see uh, your exposure. But since there's no paper in 35 millimeter sprocket hole photography, you cover that up so there's no light leaking in. You may say, when I'm rolling, how do I know I'm getting to my next frame? Well, rule of thumb for this camera is you go to the top here, you make a little mark, and usually one full rotation plus a quarter, will get you to your next frame. Now, once you're done shooting, you will need to go into your dark room or make your bathroom a dark room or a black bag, and then you will remove your 35 millimeter and the take-up spool, rewind the film by hand back into its cartridge in pitch black until your film is all the way back into the canister ready for processing. When you're sending your film out for processing, ask them for uh, process only. You do not want the folks at the lab uh, cutting your film because it is going to be a different type of frame, a very specialized. If you own a scanner, uh, you could do it yourself. If you don't, ask your lab how would you scan the entire sprocket holes. I know folks at thedarkroom.com will do this service for you, and I highly recommend them. That's it, folks. That's your crash course on how to use the Debonair 120 Plastic Filmtastic medium format camera. This camera is available exclusively at the Film Photography Project Store. As you can see, it has the FPP insignia on it, Plastic Filmtastic 120 camera. You can just go to filmphotographyproject.com, click on the store link, and pick it up. This camera is under $20 and will produce amazing, dreamy, sharp, yet dreamy images for you. I highly, highly recommend it. My name is Michael Rosso. I host the Film Photography Podcast on iTunes. It is an internet radio show for people who love to shoot film, exclusively about shooting film. I hope to see you again, and thanks very much. If you have any questions, please send me an email, podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. I'll be more than happy to hear from you. Thank you. <laughs>